everyone. Today we are going to have a brief review of the moment one, point sword with feet together, and then explore the next moment from the 32 moment Tai Chi sword. The second moment is stand on one leg and thrust reversely. As previously mentioned, I break down the moment one into five steps based on the foot stance. Let's review the five steps foot stance first. We start from readiness position. Feet together, knees together, pointing straight forward. The first foot stance is open stance. Move your weight to your right leg and lift your left leg. Pressing down the toes, then pressing down your heels. Then shift your body weight to the center of your body line. The second step is bow stance. Shift your weight to your right leg, take back your left foot, and then turn the body. Step your left foot forward by placing the heel first, then toes, then weight shifting. That's the second foot stance in this movement. The third foot stance is a half sitting stance. You step your right foot forward over your left foot by touching the ground with the heel first, then toe, turning your body, place your weight in the center of your body line. Step four is another bow stance. Step your left foot forward, heel touch, toe touching, and then weight shifting. That's number four, footwork. And the last footwork in this moment is feet together stance. Stepping your right foot forward by your left foot. Heels stay flat on the ground. This is a feet together stance. Okay. Let's add the hand movements to the footwork we just introduced. Starting from the readiness posture. Right hand short finger. Left hand holding the sword with index finger pointing downward. Other fingers wrap around from each side. Short finger facing your body. Take a deep breath. Bend your knees. Shift your weight. While you're making the open stance from your foot, you move away your arms away from your body slightly to match the feet openness. At the same time, you turn your sore finger to make it facing backward. Raise your arm, swing to the left slightly, then make a Tai Chi fish on your right. Brush the left hand holding the sword to the left. Push right sword finger forward. Step into the half sitting stance. Lift the left hand, cross right hand, turning the body, extend both arms in opposite ways. Eyes following the leading hand, which is right hand. In this step, keep stepping forward. Bring both hands together in the bow stance. Switch sword. Left hand turn into short finger. Bring right foot forward. Use wrist to point the sword. Now you finish. Point the sword with feet together. From this feet together stance, we are transiting to the next moment. Stand on one leg and thrust reversely. Lower wrist. Lifting your right heel, make it ready to step back. While you're stepping back, you pull the sword back to your right hip, turning your body. Keep swinging the sword. Rotate the arm, take back left foot. Lift the sword tip. Then raise up, the hand holding the sword. Move with the sword finger from right to the left. At the same time, raise your left knee outward, toe pointing downward. 
like that. That's any posture of thrust reversely. Okay, I'll introduce this moment in more details. First, three footwork from feet together steps. Stepping back, stepping back, you can break it into three sub steps. Place down your toes, then place down your heels, then shift your weight. Next step is bring the left foot to your right foot. You can break it down into two sub steps as well. First, turning your body, turning the toes inward, then bring it back by your right foot. Full foot touching the ground only. And next step, raise your left knees. Knees pointing to the side. Toes pointing downward. Okay. Let's combine the footwork and the upper body work together. From pointing, sword, in feet together stance. Lower wrist, lift your right heel. Stepping back, pull the sword back. Turn the body, turn left toes inward. Keep swinging your sword. Arms, sword in the same line, palm facing backward. And then flip or rotate your arm to make the palm facing forward. And take back left foot, lift the sword tip. Next step, raise hands, raise knees, thrust reversely. Okay, let's do it again. Point sore with feet together. That's it, we finished the moment two. Okay, let's practice moment one and moment two together. Starting from readiness posture. Opening. Point sword in both stands. Extend arms in half sitting stance. Switch sword in both stands. Point sword in feet together stance. Stand on one leg and thrust reversely. Going to show you a back view. Readiness. Open. Push sword finger in both stands. Extend arms in half sitting stance. Switch sword in both stands. Point sword in fit together stance. Movement two. Three steps for movement two. Lower wrist. Stepping back. Take back left foot. Raise knee and thrust. Now we're finished. 
Stand on one leg and thrust reversely.